Hi friends, it's Emmy here from the Brown County Public Library. I have a couple of rhymes and a short story to share with you today, uh, all about birds. The first rhyme that I have is called Two Little Blackbirds. It was originally published way back when as a mother goose rhyme in 1765 in England. So that's amazing, the power of storytelling that it can last so long. And these rhymes serve such a purpose. They really teach great rhymes and um, different skills. So today, the original rhyme has two little birds, and this is the sign language, American Sign Language sign for bird. Cheep, cheep. So I'm gonna use two birds here, and it goes like this. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. That's the original rhyme. So now we're going to change it up a little bit and do what I call a variation. A variation just means you're kind of changing it or putting your spin on it. So I like to use for this one different kinds of opposites. And I'm sure that you can think of some at home to use as well. The first one I have is two little blackbirds sitting in the snow. One named fast and one named slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. So that's one variation. Another is two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One sang soft and one sang loud. Fly away. Come back soft. Come back loud! <laughs> All right, I've got one more for you. This is two little blackbirds sitting on a lily. One named Sirius and one named Silly. Blah, 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 blah. Fly away, Sirius. Fly away, Silly. Blah. Come back, Sirius. Come back, silly! Ah! All right, so that's a lot of fun. And like I said, I would like for you to see if you can think of any of your own to add to that rhyme. That's a really fun one to do. The next rhyme I have is called Once I Saw a Little Bird. And it's one that I'd like for you to try to do some movements with. I'm kind of stuck behind my desk here right now, so I can't really do the movements, but I'll use my little sign language bird again. And it goes like this. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. So this is where you would hop. Do three hops. Hop, hop, hop. I cried, little bird, won't you stop, stop, stop. I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail at me and away he flew. What a silly bird. All right, let's do that again. I don't know if you noticed, I did the sign for stop also in American Sign Language. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. I cried, little bird, won't you stop, stop, stop. I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail at me, shake your tail, and away he flew. That's a fun one to do, and you can do that any way you want. You can use the signs, you can hop around. This next one I'm going to do is a, is a short, short story, sorry. Uh, believe it originated in Japan long, long ago. I'm gonna use some props for this story or some kind of puppets, I guess you could call them. Some birds. I have here five little baby birds. One, two, three, four, five, and a sweet little mama bird. Hello. All right, in this story, it is nighttime. It is bedtime. So this story is called Mama Bird and the Five Babies Who Wouldn't Go to Sleep. Once upon a time, there was a mama bird who had five sweet little baby birds. Mama Bird was very tired, so she said to her babies, Babies, it's time for bed, and I am very tired tonight, so I don't want any funny business. Just close your eyes and have sweet dreams. Then, Mama Bird gave each baby bird a goodnight kiss, mwah, 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 
and off she flew to bed. <laughs> good night, good night. They all went to sleep and she was in her cozy little nest when all of a sudden she heard, Mama, 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 Mama! <gasps> what is it, my little baby birds? She cried, whatever could be the matter? Well, the first baby bird said, Mama, my stomach, it's grumbling. Ours too. We're so hungry. Can we please have a little good night snack? So Mama flew away and she got all kinds of delicious grubs and worms for her babies and she returned quickly, fed them each, hum, 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 put them all to sleep and flew back to her nest to go to sleep. She was just settling in. She was so comfy and cozy when suddenly she heard, Mama, 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 Mama! <gasps> she flew back in as fast as she could. Whatever is the matter now, sweet babies? Well, we, we ate those worms and grubs and now we're really thirsty. Could we please have some water? So she flew away, came back with some water in her beak for each baby. And then they went, they shut their eyes and put down their heads. She flew away, returned to her warm, cozy nest. But before she could even get out a ya <gasps> yawn, she heard, Mama, 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 Mama! So she flew back in and said, what in the world could be the problem, my babies? <sighs> I'm so tired. And the baby said, well, Mama, Sometimes you tell us stories at night and sometimes you sing us little songs and so maybe we could have a song tonight. <sighs> so Mama said, okay, I'll sing you a little song. I'll just whistle. And before she was done, they were laying their little heads back and she thought, oh, they must be asleep. She started to get cozy in her little nest when all of a sudden, what did she hear? You know, mama, 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 mama. She flew back in. She said, babies, what could possibly be the matter this time? And they said, well, remember when we had that song and we had some water and we had all of those things and now we really do want just one little short story, please. Just a nice little bedtime story. So she said, okay. Here's your story. Once upon a time, there was a very tired, very tired mama bird. She had five little baby birds and she brought them food. She brought them water. She sang them a song, but they just wouldn't go to sleep. So she said to those babies, babies, you have to go to sleep or else you will get no screen time tomorrow. And all the babies, And Mama left her snoring little self in her nest all night long. And that is the end of that story. It's a pretty fun story to tell. And of course, that's also a variation. It's not the original story, but that's the great part about storytelling is that you can change it from person to person. Each time you tell a story, it gets better. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon.